All right, guys, so this is a 2012 Infiniti G37 the V6. It's got two throttle bodies, two air intakes. So these stock filters that are in this, I think may have been in there since the beginning of time for the car. So what are this K&N washable air filter? And I could have done a performance intake system, but that's a lot more money. And there's been some debate as to whether that even works or not because it sits here in the engine. So who knows if it sucks in the hot air or not. Hadn't had any problems with over the years with these K&N filters. So this is <clears throat> the filter. You obviously need two for this. And the way you remove it is pretty simple. There's two clips. And then it slides up. And this is the stock filter. And as you guys can see, it's really, really dirty. It's the stock Nissan. It's got the Nissan part number and everything. Really dirty. Lots of full of stuff here. Not on this side so much because that's on that side. But the part that hits the engine here, you can see. So I don't know. This may have been from the original uh, car. It may have been put on when it was first made. So now let's go ahead and put this one in. Guys, got a 2012 Infiniti G37. Got these K&N box filters. I could have gone ahead and got a cold air induction system, but there's been some debate as to whether that cold air induction system is really cold air or hot air because the air filter is still here, so it kind of sucking the air from the engine bay instead of in the fender like the stock setup does. So I went ahead and got two of these for about $51 a piece on Amazon. Which bought them last night and got them shipped today. So we replace it, you take these two clips and then it kind of slides forward and it comes out. And that's what the stock air filter looks like. You can see it's got the Nissan part number. It's hard as a rock. I'm, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this air filter was the one that came with the car. But maybe not because on this side it looks a little bit cleaner. So maybe it's been replaced once or twice. But it is a 2012. We just bought the car with 80,000 miles. So I'm going to replace it with the K&N. And this K&N, they're supposedly pre-oiled a little bit. But you can add a little bit to yourself. So you got the K&N filter oil. I just spray a tiny little bit on there. Just to make sure it's oiled properly. Yeah, that's good. Not too much, you don't want to soak it too much. And then the same thing. You can see this groove right here. That's where it fits in. Nice and easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Pop it in, push it down, it slides in. And I think I got it in right. Oh, let me see. Yeah, there we go. This one's a little bit smaller. Not quite as thick as the other one, so it doesn't stay in quite as well as the other one. Let's try rotating it this way. Pop that in. Should slide in. And I take the one. Yeah, it is having a little hard time finding its way in there. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, that clip is a little tighter right there. So, okay, so hopefully it's in there properly, right? And then we'll do the other side. All right, folks. 2012 Infiniti G37 3.7. We just went ahead and showed you another video how to replace the two air filters. This car does have 80,000 miles. I just bought it. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to clean the throttle body. You could potentially go with these four bolts over here and remove this piece of plastic, which I may have to. The throttle body right here, it basically has, looks like an Allen wrench. We'll go ahead and there's four bolts on there. The harder part with this one is on the GM I have. I just go ahead and I take this screw off and this piece comes off and then put those four bolts off. Here I got to get this screw off. I got the one off of here which is for the box. This is the air intake sensor. And this is for the box here. So I got this one off but it's kind of long in there. But I got this extra clip here which goes into this over here which is probably like a piece P PVC type of setup. So we've got to go ahead and get a, a pair of pliers and scrimp, crimp this and get that loose and then you unscrew this bolt here and this comes off and then we can access the throttle body. So let's see what we can do. All right guys. 2012 Infinity. I showed you guys how to replace the air filters and we're gonna go ahead and try to clean these throttle bodies. Five screws, one, two, three, four, five. Pull off this plastic top and once the plastic top is off and not falling on the ground and knocking my camera person over it. This is the composite intake. It certainly looks ugly as hell. It's not a nice pretty aluminum one but I guess that's the way it goes. So we got to get this screw off here. Pop this clip with a pair of pliers and I already got this screw undone. And this piece will come out and it'll expose the throttle body. So we'll be right back. So, like we're talking about, we did the air filter. So now we're going to check and check the throttle body, see if it needs to be clean. Took the five bolts off. You can see it got to here. And this is what the assembly you have to take off to be able to get to the throttle body. Come around here, you can see the throttle body right here. It's a little bit dirty, 
but not too bad. We're gonna go ahead and just take a paper towel here, and I got some throttle body cleaner as well. We're just gonna get in there and do a quick little wipe on that stuff, but it's not looking too bad at all. And basically, this tube is what you need to be able to access this. So there's a clip right here I tried to get to, but I couldn't. Then I actually loosened this clip for here, but it was been on so long it was kind of stuck. So when I pulled it, this clip right here actually just kind of disengaged from this, this metal piece right here over here. Actually not metal, it's hard plastic. So now we have this off, we put it there. Like I said guys, you just go back in here and you clean your throttle body, wipe it up with your rag or a paper towel. I do have some throttle body cleaner, which I don't have in my hand right this second, but you can link to one of my other videos and you can see how we did that. But I'm mostly posting this guy so you can see the setup of the Infinity G37 with a dual throttle body so you know how to take off the the intake cover and how to take this off so you can go ahead and get at it. Cleaning the throttle body is essentially the same process with any vehicle. Thanks. So 2012 Infiniti G37 with the 3.7. I was just, we went ahead and we swapped out the stock box filters that were probably in there for more than 10 years. They were hard as heck and all greasy with nice brand new pre-rolled k and box filters. And I'm going to go ahead and I just check the throttle bodies. They seem to be in good shape. Car's got 80,000 miles, so I didn't see too much gunk or grease or anything on there, which indicates to me that the engine is working well. So you just got to take off this screw right here. We took off, I showed you guys how to take it off with the five screws here, get to the composite manifold. And then this screw here, you take off here. And this is the one, this basically is the throttle body that's on the passenger side. It's a little more complicated than the one on the driver's side. But we got it all off anyway, and we just sprayed a little bit of this carb cleaner in here we basically take it and you spray it onto a rag or a towel don't spray it directly you, you could spray it directly into the throttle body but you make sure you wipe it up you don't want to leave it in there and you don't want that stuff getting stuck in there it might cause a stall or something or sputter on the engine because you know it's not gas and it's not air so you basically just put it on here and then you wipe the surface and get it nice and clean but it was already pretty clean anyway and then we're just basically going ahead and putting it back screwing this back on this takes care of this and then we'll put this plastic cover here and we'll start it up thanks